Hello everyone, my name is Raj and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, we are going to continue where we left off in the previous tutorial. So far, what we have done is we made a widget, then we added the widget to a static mesh as a texture. We made some animations in the widget, then we exposed the controls of the widget animation to the blueprint. So let me show you what we did so far. I'm going to click on play. I'm going to select my bp led screen and if you have not checked out the previous part please do check it out because then it will be easier to follow along i do not explain the same blueprints in this particular tutorial so if you want to know how i reached this point exactly where i have the screen and the textures just go and watch my previous videos so far we have three parts so this is the fourth part so this is where we left off in the previous tutorial we made this widget update button when i click it the widget applies to the static mesh i can play the animation i can reverse the animation and also i can change the text so this is where we left off in the previous tutorial now i'm going to add an image to the same widget and maybe I will animate it like scaling up or coming onto the screen from left to right. And then I will connect that animation to these two controls. So without any further ado, let me get started. I'm going to open my blueprint. So here is my blueprint. I'm going to select the widget. The widget is UMG LED. Find it. This is the widget. So as you can see in this widget we had animations. Let me just dock it here. So this is the animation that we had created uh, I think in part 2. So yeah, please do check out part 1, part 2 and part 3. And now we are going to add an image over here and then we are going to animate it. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to go up to the palette and I'm going to search for image. Drag it to the canvas panel. So here is the image on top. I have already imported some textures. Let me show it to you. So these are something I downloaded from the internet. These are all 1024 by 1024 with an alpha channel. I will add one of these to the image that I just added. So I will select that image. Let me just give it a name. Maybe say for example team logo. All right. Select it go to the details and under appearance brush i'm just gonna look for t underscore i think it was cobra was it yeah it's very small tiny what i'm going to do is i'm just going to click on size to content and this is the logo it's too big at the moment i want to scale it down to fit the logo inside this uv grid so i will select the logo and i will go all the way down here and under render transform in scale i'm going to scale it down to 0.5 by 0.5 mm, it's still too big maybe i'll go all the way down to 0.2 and 0.2 maybe this is fine i will keep it here for now i already have this animation from one of the previous tutorials maybe i can animate the logo as well but for now I will keep the animation aside. What I will do is I will expose this logo to the blueprints so that I can change it in real time. If I compile and save, click on play, it didn't show up because I have to click on update widget and here is the widget. Okay, I have the logo. The play forward works only on the text for now because I have not done any animation on the logo. So we will do the animation later. First, let's take a look at how can I change the logo in real time. Like just like how we have this text over here that changes here, we need another control for the texture of the logo. So let's do that. Stop. I will select the logo in the widget blueprint. And all I need to do here is go up to the details and just click on is variable. That's it for the widget blueprint. Compile and save. I will go back to my main blueprint, which is this one. And here I will go to my event graph. So these were the blueprints that we have created so far in the last three parts. And now we are going to add the image to this as well so that we can change it in real time. I will go to an empty space here and I will drag my SUMG LED design variable. So this also 
if you want to know how we created all this blueprint and how we got this variable you need to check out my previous tutorials so i will take this and from here i'm going to drag out a pin and i'm going to look for what was it it was team logo so drag a pin and search for team yeah get team logo so here is my team logo what do i want to do from the team logo i want to change this texture it is under brush so what do i want to do i want to drag out a pin and search for set brush from texture and i need to assign a variable to the texture like what do i want to change it with so i need to drag out a pin and promote it to a variable i will call this variable new team logo i will make this public i will compile this and now you can see that i can add a logo over here so i will add the t cobra as a default texture for now compile and save and now of course we need an event to trigger this so we already have this custom event from one of the previous tutorials update widget i can use the same custom event to trigger this as well so i will drag this up here like this and let me just do one thing let me just comment on what each one does so i will just let me pull it here and and this was to change text so i will call this text change and this one is for mm, logo change logo change and all i need to do is just i need to drag this to here so when i call this event which is update widget is going to you know add the widget as a texture to the static mesh and then it is also going to update the text with this text and it is also going to update the texture let's see if this works I'm going to compile this and save so back to my viewport play select the screen now i have this exposed as well first thing i need to do is of course hit update so that the widget is updated with the text and the logo so the animation is there and for the logo i can just take a texture and just drop it here like this and of course it doesn't change immediately i have to click on update and that's how i change the logos i can change the text of course update and reverse and play forward and now if you might have noticed when i hit reverse you know the text goes out i mean it doesn't animate all the way out so maybe this is something we will take a look at in another tutorial how to adjust the sizing of the text and also how to keep it within bounds for example if i just come back here if i type something longer and update the widget you can see it goes out so in the next tutorial we are going to take a look at how to confine the text within a particular size so that if the text is longer than that it doesn't go out of bound so that is something we will keep for the next tutorial for now let's focus on animating the logo so i will stop this i will go back to my widget blueprint here in the animations tab i'm going to select my animation maybe i want the logo to scale up so i will select the logo and i can do one of two things i can just click on add and put the team logo here like this or i can just select my logo and on details i can scroll all the way down to transform and just click on the add keyframe and it adds here so now it already has a keyframe on the scale if i zoom in here you should see the keyframe so the value right now of the keyframe is 0.2 i want to scale it up so maybe at around maybe here i will add keyframes for both x and y scale i will keep the values as 0.2 here and at the start i'm going to select both of them and do a zero and just set keyframe on both so now i have a nice scale up right maybe i will offset this a little bit once the text comes in that's when i want the logo to appear so something like this all right compile and save now i don't need to do any other blueprinting stuff here because the animation is already being controlled by these two functions play forward and play reverse so now if i just click on play here select the led 
of course update the widget first and now if i play and reverse it should work and of course you can change the logo you can change the text update the widget reverse play so yeah this is how you change the image and how you animate the image in one of the future tutorials what we are going to do is we're going to combine all of this tutorial and then we are going to make one design uh, let me show it to you so yeah maybe in the next tutorial we are going to create something similar where we will do the design part in photoshop not exactly designed because these are downloaded so i will show you how to set up the layers in photoshop and how to export the files from photoshop to unreal we will do the animation we will expose the images the text and also we will control the animations and the text from the remote control web api so yeah probably that will be the next one or the next one after that so please do stay subscribed to my channel and my name is raj thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next one